Hey guys, I'm Matt and Louie, and welcome to my latest video. So today I'm going to be talking about a idea I had for a game that could possibly be made, or I would like to be made if I could have it made, I guess. Or if any games companies are listening, you can take note because it's about to blow you away. So Harry Potter is probably one of the only sort of movie tie-in games so the game series the Harry, all the Harry Potter games is literally the only movie related games that are consistently good across all of them I mean I've played all of the Harry Potter games there is I've played um, Philosopher's Stone I've played Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix Half Blood Prince, Deathly Hallows Part 1 haven't played Deathly Hallows Part 2, but it's probably similar to the first one. And so the only one I, I haven't played is Ch Chamber of Secrets. But personally, Prisoner of Azkaban is just my favourite. I mean, you're going to be seeing some screenshots and some clips of the different games I'm going to be talking about throughout this. And you'll probably see now that some gameplay from Prisoner of Azkaban, you can see that it's just so open and there's just so much you can do and explore within Hogwarts and the grounds of Hogwarts like the outline area and you also get to go to Hogsmeade during one bit and it was just the most complete experience it was you felt like you was in the Harry Potter world the spells were so like there's such a big variety of spells there was attacking spells defensive spells sort of spells that didn't actually like harm it, they weren't there to like harm anyone such as I can't really think of one off the top of my head but let's say Lumos I think that was in the game um, and it was, just, it was just a lot of game I mean a lot of different stuff you could do in the game another great game in the series is the Order of the Phoenix which is again it's great for exploration obviously it's set when Harry's a bit older and it felt a little bit more mature I guess you could say the dueling was improved it felt more like it was in the movies <clears throat> very it tied very closely to the story of the movie but it did have a lot of other things such as all these random quests that you would have to do and my favourite bit, I remember this vividly, it's when you're recruiting Dumbledore's army and you literally have to go to like every single member, do like a little quest for them and then they say they'll join like the Dumbledore's army. Some of them you just have to talk to them, obviously you have to help them, like you have to help um, Colin Creevy's brother, you have to get Colin's camera off like a really tall ledge and his brother won't stop talking about you and it was just an absolute great game and it tied in with the movies beautifully but it wasn't well and yeah it wasn't predictable when i first played through it also hot harry potter and the half blood prince was absolutely incredible I had all these little mini games i'd like potion brewing and quidditch i mean that was pretty awesome and the dueling in it was great it just felt really sort of I don't know, it just felt really good. I guess that's the only way to think about it. I think it was in first person as well, which offered a different perspective, I believe. Don't quote me on that, I can't fully remember, but I think it might have been in first person. Now, all those games are great. Obviously, of course, you have the Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup as well, which was also pretty good. It was kind of like FIFA, but with Quidditch. But I want more. I want more from the Harry Potter universe. I want another game. I want more games. I want more stuff to do. And I want to, I want to go back to Hogwarts. I want to explore Hogwarts. I want... But I want it to be in a, a new story. I don't want it to just be the movies again. I don't want it to just be through that. My idea... It goes on the principle of... Skyrim. Now, if you've played Skyrim, or if you know about Skyrim, you know it's a massive role-playing game, massive open world, so many quests, so many storylines, so much stuff. Now, I believe at the moment, Electronic Arts still hold the rights to Harry Potter and definitely no Warner Brothers do in terms of games. So what would need to happen for a Skyrim style game would be EA would have to team up with Bethesda, the creators of Skyrim and Fallout. And if them two combined their formulas for games together into one game, 
well it could be magical let's be honest so my idea for this game is essentially it will be set 19 years after the Battle of Hogwarts which is just when Harry's son starts Hogwarts and I just think that you would want I wouldn't want to be, to play as Harry's son or anyone that we like know I guess I would like you to be able to create your own kid whether it's boy or girl and you should send them to Hogwarts and what happens is you play through their entire school life. So you'd start off, you'd start off at, in King's Cross Station, you'd get to walk through platform nine and three quarters, get onto the Hogwarts Express and then be like a cutscene or within Skyrim there's just kind of you can look around and move during these like cutscenes and conversations and that sort of thing. And you would get to Hogwarts, you'd go through the whole sorting ceremony and the way it would work I'm not sure if this is actually possible but the way it would work ideally is that the houses that you get sorted into basically when the sorting hat's get, hat gets put on your head it asks you a series of questions and the questions could be something like how would you deal with a how would you deal with like, I don't know, for example, a troll and maybe the Ravenclaw answer would be something like because I have something worth lead it away, me. lead it to out of the way and don't bother harming it. But the Slytherin answer would just be like stun it with a spell, just go straight in there. Gryffindor answer could be try your best to fight it and take it down without hurting it too much and I'm not even sure what I'll put but that's just an example I don't know exactly how it would work but your answers would dictate which house you're in and which house you get put in would dictate some of your starting skills and stats so for example for Ravenclaw you might be able to learn skills faster because the people that put in Ravenclaw are supposed to be smarter than the other houses Whereas Gryffindor, obviously, they're supposed to have more courage, so they could start off with more health, possibly, or maybe they learn defense against the dark arts style spells easier, that sort of thing. Or you could have Slytherin, they could have better sneak skill or better speech skill, like persuading people and, you know, doing stuff like that, intimidating people, possibly, maybe. So similar things to Skyrim, you have all these types of skills and you could incorporate it well into the Harry Potter, I think it would suit really well because obviously Harry Potter is kind of, the world they're in, even though it's magical, it is kind of, it's sort of olden times if that makes sense, like in the castle, they live in a castle, there's suits of armour, they use candles, they... Use tra they use a train, like an old steam train as opposed to like a diesel train or electric train, something like that. You know, it's really old fashioned and Skyrim's exactly like that and I think that they mesh together well. Now after this sorting ceremony you would essentially each year would work as in like there's a main quest in the year and what essentially happens is there's the main quest, when you, once you complete the main quest you can move on to the next year um, but essentially I think you should be able to also go back previous years so say there's some side quests you didn't complete in year one you move to year two you might think oh no I can't play those side quests but there would be an ability in the game where you could perhaps go back to the first game and it goes to like just before the end of the last bit of the main quest from that year and you could just go and do all the things from that and it's got all your skills saved from the pack from like the future years if that makes sense so I don't know if I know if I'm explaining this like 100% correctly but I'm just literally just telling it straight out of my head because I've been thinking about this for a while and I just think it has so much potential and I mean if you look at game if you look at a Harry Potter game like Prisoner of Azkaban for example it was really in depth if you think about it, there was lots of different spells to do, there was lots of different places to go, the quests and missions and stuff like that, they weren't all the same, everything was different, there was new enemies to encounter, that sort of thing. And I just think, whereas that it was sort of 
not daily progression, but you move to like the next thing. And I did f find it a little bit annoying that you couldn't go back to like previous ones without starting the game again. But I can also understand why, because it was quite a while ago, and it was only on PS3, not PS3, PS2, so obviously there wasn't much, that much that they could do with it, but it was a great game for its time. But with this game that I would like to create, no idea what it would be called, possibly something like Hogwarts, A New Beginning, or something, that's just an idea that I had for the title. But, like I said, you progress through each year, and there'd be different main quests each. The main quests would differ slightly for each one, but there'll be like a recurring story, recurring characters that you meet, and possibly depending on which house you get sorted in, there'll be different main quests, well, different side quests. The main quests will always be kind of the same, possibly, but I think there should be a couple of different endings as well, depending on your house, depending on what kind of wizard you want to be, whether you want to be more of an evil kind of wizard or whether you want to be like a hero type wizard or witch if you're if you pick a female character because EA are brilliant at making multi-ending sort of games I mean if you look at the Mass Effect franchise there's so much choice and there's so many different endings to to those games and I think if EA used that to combine with Bethesda's role-playing game formula you could have an insane kind of game and they could like little choices throughout that you did change your let's just say for example like in Mass Effect as you can see on the screen now you have Renegade and Paragon which is depend Paragon obviously being good Renegade being sort of the more evil sort of options the more bad guy type choices and obviously that would dictate how your character turns out and I think they could implement this into the Harry Potter game also one last thing a great a great feature that could be in the game would be Quidditch you should be allowed to play Quidditch and I mean really play Quidditch like at the start of the year of each year within the game you should be able to try out for a different position if you do well enough then you can get into the team as say whichever position you want say for the first year you might want to be a keeper or for the second year you might want to be a seeker then a beater or a chaser and you could just mix and match whichever you want but I mean if you really wanted to just be a seeker you could just be a seeker if you really enjoyed that but I think it would be nice to be able to mix it up rather than you just pick one thing and and stick with that for the whole thing because I think that could get uh, really repetitive but let's be honest every Harry Potter fan has dreamed of playing Quidditch so if they were going to make this game they need to pull that in I'm sorry they just do there's just no way they can leave it out unless they want to keep their officers because Harry Potter fans would probably burn them down if they didn't include Quidditch but anyway guys that brings this video to a close leave a like if you did enjoy comment on what your opinions are on this idea for a game and whether you think it's viable or whether you would improve it somehow subscribe if you enjoy my content in general and i'll see you next time guys take care